Hi guys, welcome to Disney Heart. I'm here to do a video and I must say, I actually went squish hunting for the very first time and I absolutely loved it. Like I felt a completely new experience because the majority of my Squishmallows that I have shown on my channel have either come from Macari or Amazon. And every now and again, I'll buy some at Target as far as what my fiance gets me. But for the most part, like, <laughs> I never really go a whole lot of places just to find Squishmallows. And literally, this was such a new experience. And also, I'm not wearing any Disney ears today. I just don't feel like wearing it. Um, I'm really not feeling 100% my allergies are kicking my butt and I just got home from work you know I got a new part-time job as a dog walker slash vacation pet sitter um so yeah it's it's been a minute and you know like I said with my allergies acting up in summer and spring here and I'm just having a hard time breathing like that so bear with me um but yeah before I show you guys what I got from my squish hunt, which was, a, it was, um, I don't know if I should call it a mini squish hunt because I did finally go to Learning Express because I know that's been the most popular place talked about on YouTube. Uh, Learning, Learning Express, I went to Walgreens and that was it, I believe. Learning Express and Walgreens. Yeah. So... I'm proud of the purchases I got and I think I'm going to start going squish hunting more often and stop buying too many squish from Macari because it just seems that I be overpaying for a lot of these squishmallows when if I get them from the store I can get them cheaper. Um, I will say that, um, oh my god, I will say that, you know, not, I don't know, it just... It's hard for squish hunters, squish collectors, because it's like, it's hard for us to actually go to the store to buy a lot because you have, uh, um, you have buyers that will buy up all the squishmallows and charge them for double or triple the price, you know? So <sighs> I will say from now on, the majority of my squish, I am going to start getting on my own as far as going squish hunting. Um, some that's completely hard to find, I will probably find it off of Macari. I'm not going to say I'm not ever going to buy off Macari again, because I am. But for the most part, I am going to start doing my squish hunting stuff. And with this being my first squish hunt haul that I'm about to show you guys, I am ecstatic. Like, I am so happy. But, guys, usually... I do not drink Tahitian treat fruit punch. I have fruit punch every now and again, but this is Chris's. He took my ginger ale, so I had no choice but to have this or water. And I really didn't feel like having water today. I really wanted something sweet. So, yeah. Anyway, little disclaimer. I want to show you guys one purchase I did get off Macari before I get to the haul. And this is my first actual type of Squishmallow that I know is popular in the Squish uh, community. And when I got this particular Squishmallow, I'm like, oh my God, I see why everybody loves this. I see why, I see what the hype is, you know what I mean? And it's gotten to the point now where I'm thinking about actually collecting more. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is Zozo the Bigfoot. Like, literally, I didn't think I would be into Bigfoots. Because I'm like, well, what is, like, and this is a 16-inch. I'm like, what is the whole hype over these? Like, I would see these on people's hauls, people's collections, and I'm like, okay, wow. So, this is Zozo. I love her. She is actually in the, um... She's not in the bed with me, but she is um, in my room and she sleeps right next to the bed. 
because I already sleep with two plush. I sleep with Liberty, my engagement dog, and I sleep with May May, uh, the red panda from Turning Red. <clears throat> Speaking of that, I will link that I will link that video in the description bar below. But yeah, I sleep with her, and of course, my fiance. So it's already a full bed, full house in the bed. So I knew if I was to sleep with her, you know, I know I knew for a fact. My allergies will be berserk, you know. When I was little, I used to sleep with so many stuffed animals in the bed. And my mother took them out because it started messing with my allergies. But, and of course with this, you know it's going to mess with it. So, but yeah, so she sleeps next to my bedside. And this is Zozo, guys. Zozo. And I like that name. I think if we ever had another pet, like a dog or a cat, I would um, name her Zozo. I like that name, Zozo. And um, I will read her bio in just a second. I need to get another swig of my drink. Um, <sighs> you guys will see in this video that I'm actually struggling because like I said, I'm having a hard time really breathing and I've already taken two Allegra's already, and I really don't want to take a third, so I don't want to overdose on it. <laughs> so, mm. oh, oh my God! Okay, so let's go ahead and read Zozo's um, bio. Meet Zozo. She loves art and filmmaking and is really quite silly. Zozo loves to have fun with her friends and use her imagination. She loves being creative and makes her own videos, drawings, and even toy designs. Do you want to see her portfolio? Okay, so she loves to design and create. So she's my designer and creator and she has a little portfolio. Love her, so yes. I just wanted to make her, I just wanted to bring her in and show her off because I just got her yesterday. So, off of Macari. And I will say I did overpay for her. I will say that. Um, But hopefully in my next squish hunt, I will be able to find more Bigfoots. So, I want to see if I can find some because it just seems like when I go squish hunting and I go to different Walgreens or go to different learning expresses or whatever or Hallmarks, it's like, okay, I, I will find some stuff. And I always see that other Squishmallow hunters, like, they are successful some most of the time when they go squish hunting. And other times, very vaguely, they'll, yeah, get stuff from Akari or whatever. With me, I felt like I was dependent on it because it was hard for me to go out like that because either... I wouldn't have the money or I had the money, but Chris was home and yeah, that's another story in itself. Sometimes I have to sneak and buy Squishmallows, but actually the stuff that, um, the Squish hunting that I did and all the Squishmallows I'm about to show you guys, I had to sneak to do that. So Chris does not know I have these, but he will find out, but yeah. He calls them squishmallows. No, he he calls them squishums. I'm sorry. He says squishums or or squoosh or whatever. And I'm like, baby, squishmallows. And he's like, whatever. But he complains, but yeah, he funds them. Because, like I said, I just started working. So a lot of the money that I use to get all this stuff comes from him. Anyhow. So let's um I'm gonna show you guys. Learning Express first. Learning Express. Now I've had this sitting in the bag for almost two weeks now and I'm finally getting around to filming a lot of this stuff. So, um, <sighs> you will see in future videos, I have two other future videos. I will be wearing the same red spaghetti strap shirt just to let you guys know and I won't be wearing any ears. I just don't feel good. <laughs> but anyway, so when I went to Learning Express, I remember I think either Sydney or Kevin from K Shizzle uh, YouTube had uh, told me I was going to be overwhelmed when I do finally go to Learning Express because I saw 
how how it was when other people went um i thought i was gonna be overwhelmed but i wasn't actually like i don't know what it was like i saw some stuff <coughs> in there but i didn't see a whole lot where it's like oh my god i gotta have that you know so i only end up buying two two squishies out of uh learning express but the the uh saleswoman was so wonderful she was so nice she said well if you follow us on instagram you know you will see when we have new squishmallows coming and when it coming out and stuff and when i went there it said new squishmallows and i thought okay cool we got some new ones in there and all i saw were, like old ones and i know the cows are more popular and i'm like okay i don't even see a cow but apparently every time they get a cow in it's like it's gone like that so so i'm gonna show you guys what i got and i'm gonna start with my little one and i had a hard time i didn't know what this was at first and i had to look it up but this is abelina or abilene the ostrich and this is um, a squish clip. And I'm starting to love the squish clips. So I want to collect more of these. Um, I noticed the squish clips are so expensive on Macari. But literally you can find them for like $4, 5 the most. So, but yeah. And her squish date is July 9th, 2021. Her bio says... Abilene is a creative director who loves to have fun. She picks a new game for her team to play each month to get their creative juices flowing. Her dream is to work for a game company and play games all day. What games should she try next? So she's a gamer. She loves to play games. And I actually wore her already on my backpack, my Lady in the Trent backpack. And she has already went with me on many trips. She's even came with me to work. And so, yeah, I love her. So this is my clip, my first clip. Well, it's not really my first per se. My very, very first clip was, um, I forgot her name, but she's a koala. But I will do a video of my full Squishmallow clip collection, but that'll be in a later video. But anyway, for, but for starters, this is Abilene. I, don't, I think it's Abilene or Abilina, whatever, but... Maybe you guys might have a better experience in pronouncing her name. So, she's so cute. I am I really want the Bigfoot one, but I know that's going to cost an arm and a leg. Ugh. And then the second and last thing that I got from um, Learning Express is... Sophie the lamb. I've started to actually love the lamb squish and I love her rainbow belly. So yes, and her squish date is June 11th, 2021. And her bio says, inspired by the flowers near her home, Sophie is an inspiring fashion designer. She loves creating new looks and staging fashion shows with her friends. So she is a creative designer or a fashion designer? I just, I forgot that quick. Fashion designer. So Sophie is my fashion designer and she, what, likes roses or flowers? Yeah, so her her flowers that's near her home inspire her, but she is a fashion designer. Okay. Excuse me. So that's all I got. And so actually the clip, I will say. If you were to get clips at Walgreens, they're four or five dollars. But if you go to Learning Express, they're about ten. So this is about ten dollars. So I paid nine ninety nine for this. So I guess give or take, um, because you'll see a lot of uh, 
the squish clips on Macari for like 15. But it's it's never um free shipping. It's always plus whatever. So that's why I always say these are a lot on Macari. So I personally would not recommend you get any of the clips from Macari. At least the ones that I've tried looking for are expensive. So so learning express guys. As a matter of fact, you know what? I don't even know why I put them back in the back. I'm gonna keep them out. Okay, so she'll go there. And my clip will go here. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll just put it right there. So the next one, we went to two different, I went to two different Walgreens. So I went to three places. I went to two different Walgreens and then I went to Learning Express. Uh, yeah. But next time, like I said, I will go further. I would do more. But yeah, so this is Walgreens number one. I got Dustin. Which I love. Oh. And I got, and then I'll show you everybody I got, and then I'll read their bios. Ryan. Samir. Hold on. And Scarlet, which I've been wanting. Oh my goodness. Now I found a 12 inch Scarlet at Walgreens, but I said, oh, should I get her? Should I not? Cause I love me some strawberries. And I was like, I don't think I would want one that big because like I said, I already got a pineapple that's big and I'm giving that away. So I wouldn't want to get a bigger strawberry and I end up giving that away. But it's a bigger strawberry that, that is like this, but it's chocolate covered. But I'm like, you know what? I'm perfectly fine with my clips. So I got four clips from Walgreens number one. Or should I say Walgreens? Yeah, Walgreens number one. Yes, Walgreens number one. And they were uh, $4. So I'm going to read their bios. Now, Dustin's, um, okay, so Dustin's squish date is July 9th, 2021. Meet Dustin. This active little pup is always ready for adventure. He was once a rescue pup, so he knows a thing or two about rescuing others. When he is not training for a frisbee contest, he is volunteering at his local fire station. Join Dustin on his next adventure. Now, the more I do squishmallows on here, I would not read their bios, um, because like I said, I've read the bios over and over again on my channel. So, um, now if you do want me to do that for every time I show you guys a squish, read their bio, let me know in the comments. But I think after today, after filming this, unless it's a new squish that has not been on my channel, I will read their bios. But if it's the same one that's been on my channel previously, but a different version, I won't read their bios as of right now. But today will be the last time. But yeah, so there's Dustin. And this is my third Dustin because I have a 16 inch Dustin, I have an eight inch Dustin, and now I have a clip. So I got three versions of Dustin. This next one is Scarlet, the chocolate covered strawberry. Now she's already been with me out places on my bag she's even been to work with me like I said I've had these bags for a couple of weeks now um and I was so excited I went ahead and I started using my clips already so yes <laughs> now Scarlett's uh squish date is July 5th 2021 meet Scarlett 
This sweet mellow loves all things theater and dance. She wants to be a costume designer and performer on Broadway. Her father taught her how to sew and, I, and every year she makes the costumes for her school plays. One day he'll be front row for one of her shows. You know, her bio reminds, uh, reminds me a lot of the koala that played in Sing. Like he went to his own little theater and stuff like that. So literally, yeah. Scarlet reminds me so much of the koala in the movie Sing, which is one of my favorite movies, by the way. So yes, Scarlet. Okay. And then the other one, we have Samir, Squish Date, July 9th, 2021. These are a lot of July birthdays here. Who's that mellow leading the pack? It's Samir. This wonderful whale never planned on being in, being in charge, but his kindness and consideration have helped him become an excellent leader. If you need some advice on making the best choice, give Samir a call. So Samir the whale is obviously the one that you go to to talk to when you want to talk about something. But it looks like a female, but this is a Valentine's edition though. I always thought this was a girl, but it's a boy. So this is Samir the whale. You know, I would actually, I could see myself getting an eight inch of this. So I'll probably get a bigger one of this one. And last but not least, we have Ryan. And these are the Valentine squad, by the way. So Ryan is not your average Husky. While he enjoys playing sports and spending time with friends, he also loves to spend time learning about robots and technology. One day he hopes to be a famous inventor, so watch out. So this Husky wants to be an inventor. Okay, Ryan the Husky. And I love the Valentine's edition. I can see myself getting an, um, an eight inch of this, but yeah. So, so far, these are the clips that I got from Walgreens number one. So total, I will say one, two, three, this is four or five. So I have about six um, key, uh, key uh, squish clips so far. So I'm proud of myself with that. Now, let's show you the last Walgreens. Now, I lost my mind in this one Walgreens. And I got bigger squish. Like, all of these squish mellows are like, I want to say between 14 to 16 inches. And I didn't plan it to be like that. So, but yeah, I fell in love. All right. So, oh, Walgreens. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. I got one small one. Sorry. This one is... Uh, wow. What's his name? Bumble the Adob Abominable Abominable Lord Snow Monster. So this is the Snow Monster that I got. I don't think he has a bio. No. So hopefully the next one I can get is the is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That will be the next one I'll be in search of. But more likely I'll be able to get it, especially when Christmas rolls back around. So I'll put that one there. All right, so now the next one, sorry, that I got. This is Arab Arabella. I believe this is another lamb, I believe. I'm not sure. But when I saw this one, I'm like, oh, my gosh. It reminds me so much of my Bigfoot. <laughs> like, looks just like her, except, you know, but yeah. So yeah, this is a 16 inch. Like literally when I saw her, I'm like, oh my God, you're coming home with me. But yeah, her squish date is October 10th, 2021. You know what? That's the same. I want to say it was the 10th or the 12th. Ashley, if you are watching this, correct me. My best friend got married 
October the 10th, 2021. So this is the squish date is the actual wedding date of my best friend. I think it was either the 10th or the 12th. I, wa I want to say it was the 10th, but and it was in the year of 2021 or 2022. I'm sorry, sorry. 2021 or 2020. I believe it's 2020, but the year might be off, but the actual month is their wedding month. So I'm like, oh, wow. So Arabella is a very talented violinist. She can play almost any song just by hearing it. While she loves to play the violin and practices every day, she'd rather play outside. When it's nice out, she sits on her porch to play and takes a break to play catch with her friends. So this is my music girl. This is my violinist and I love her. Mm. Oh my God, I cannot, I would never part with this one. Like, I think she's a lamb. I really do. Like, right? Yeah, she gotta be a lamb. I think she's a lamb. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to put her front and center, like right here next to me. Oh my God. Yes, okay. And the other one I got, when I saw this, I have the, uh, excuse me, three and a half, I wanna say three and a half, maybe four inches, or should I say five? of of this one and when i saw it in the 16 inch i said okay i gotta have it this Kelton the something cow i forgot what kind of cow but it's a cow and i will say this one is my chef this is the chef i won't read his bio because i've read it before but he does share the same birthday as my little brother that passed so this is a uh, very, very sentimental squish because of his squish date. But um, I also like the fact I love his bio because he is my chef. So yeah. So yep, yeah. this is Calden. Did I say Carlton or Carlton? Carlton. Yep. There he is. So I won't, I would not read his bio. Cause like I said, I've, he's appeared in my channel before. So, but if you guys want to know his bio, let me know. And then I'll just link it in the comments for you guys to see, or put it in the description. If you guys want to know his actual bio, but he is a chef. Okay. So I'll put him here. And one more guys. Oh my God, And when I saw Bambi, I was looking for Thumper because they have a Thumper squish. So, oh my goodness. So this one is not a 16 inch. This one is, I wanna say a 14. So this one's like a 14 and the other two that I showed you guys are 16s. But yeah, this one's a 14. And of course, all of the Disney characters, they don't have bios or, if he's, or a Pixar character or what have you. But there's Thumper and then there's Tinkerbell. I remember seeing Tinkerbell I believe at one of the Walgreens. So, but yeah, this is the squad. I do plan on getting the other two, but yeah. Ooh. Sorry. Bambi. So yes, I love me some Bambi. Oh. Yes. So that's all I got. So I, I got a total of uh, five squish rings. I'm sorry, five squish clips and two 16 inches, one 14 inch, um, a five inch and an eight inch. So yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got on my squish hunt and I enjoyed it. I loved every minute of it so yes i am super excited now i gotta figure out how to house all of these because i'm starting to have a lot and like i told you guys before in previous videos we live in a hotel and we don't have so much room so 
um i have not um, i do plan on going squish hunting again soon but i was thinking the next time i do squish hunting will probably be when we move per se probably when we move to our townhouse or an apartment therefore i would have a little bit more room but you know i would still buy some of course but as far as actual going like for real for real squish hunting yes i won't i won't do that for another month or so so yeah anywho stay tuned for the next video i do plan on uh showing you guys my kentucky derby collection squishmallow collection so stay tuned for that of course i'm going to be wearing the same outfit still drinking the same drink and so on and so on but yes anyway guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up and also feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to as well as clicking on that bell right next to subscribe that'll give you guys notifications of all the updated videos that i upload videos every friday and saturday guys so with that being said happy Disney's. Bye.